What is just not the flex that people think it is? Never taking your PTO. I'm my own boss. MLM participant. My co-workers flexing their $900 car payments for new cars they didn't need to buy with high interest rates. Do you know who my dad, mom, or parents are? No, no one cares. Riding around in a limousine. I think it was David Spade who made the joke about it saying roughly whenever I see someone riding in a limo, I think wow, you have $300. Edit you Garfield 12323 below actually found the clip. It was $80. The I never take a day off types who live at work. How bad does your home life have to be? When adults brag about high school sports achievements like that's their whole personality. Being proud about being brutally honest when they're just rude. Being a top earner in an MLM. Proclaiming you're an alpha male. In fact, it makes you look like a complete idiot and everyone hates you. Bro, I'm such an alcoholic I can drink X amount of alcohol. One-upmanship. Good grief. People think making someone else look less than them makes them cool. Um no, it makes you look insecure. These idiots that ride motorcycles ATV super fast and recklessly down city streets doing wheelies and swerving in and out of traffic. Boasting about how much drinking and smoking weed they can do. Working 60 hours a week and grind mentality. Don't get me wrong, I like OT. Especially because all of my OT is double time and I like making the big bucks from time to time but. Trying to flex that you work 60 hours per week and saying that anything less than 60 hours is part-time is just plain stupid. You are working your life away, spending more time away from your family. And it shows just how underpaid you really are. CrossFit As a nurse that has worked in orthopedic surgery, a lot of our surgical procedures are repairing injuries from CrossFit. Driving around in a super loud vehicle such as a low riding scion with glass packs. If you own one of these, you look like an asshole and everyone hates you. Grinding crazy hours not taking holidays 60-80 hour weeks and no holidays public accountants, looking at you. My cousin's husband always brags about what a manly man he is and how he's never changed his daughter's diaper bath to put her to bed. Their daughter is coming up to one year old and he never fails to brag about it every family gathering. I'm not sure why he sees it as a flex. Basically bragging about being a terrible father. How many followers you have? Sleep is for the weak. No sleep is so valuable and frankly the more you can get the better you'll be. Sex, heart and mental health. All improved. Also if sleep is a luxury you can sleep more easily if you don't work two jobs to make ends meet then sleep and rest are big flexes. Teachers bragging how some high percentage of the class fails every year. Do you know who my father is? Yes, well done, your father did well for himself. What have you done? How little you slept last night. Owning a Range Rover. I have one, it's nearly 10 years old, done 77k miles and drives like shit. How big their mortgage is. Dude, you're just bragging about how crippling your debt is. Having a huge, expensive wedding when you're not a wealthy person. Couples that are miserable bragging how many years they have been together. I haven't read a book since high school. This is not a flex. Not being interested in reading, having issues with it or having had shitty teachers ruining it for you is one thing, but saying it like you're proud of it tells me a lot about the type of person you are. None of it is good. Coming to work sick. I work in healthcare. People who say my daughter husband neighbors cut two doors down is a doctor. I'd gaff. Does that mean you've instilled their medical knowledge and experience through osmosis? 
I will treat you the same as every other patient, although the type of person who says stuff like this is usually the biggest obstacle to their treatment. Not wearing your seat belt. Not using sunscreen. Bragging about how many people you've slept with. Bragging about how little sleep you've got this night. Showing off expensive outfits. Nobody really cares how much your outfit costs unless you're at a fashion show or event. This is coming from someone who likes to look good in outfits. Being a dickhead to people. We're like family here. We're co-workers who work for an organization that pays us money on a contractual basis. Relationships will always have a limit. It's not family. And if you feel like it is, you might want to protect yourself. Saying you make more money than somebody in an argument. Drinking large amounts of alcohol. Hustle culture. People who say they don't read instructions. Truck nuts. Listing your job title as CEO of the business you own, when you are the sole employee. Blaring your bump-in sound system that cost more than the shitty car you've put it in while you sit parked outside your home for hours on end. Your system ain't that impressive and neither are you bro. Bragging how you never took a sick day in your entire life and how anyone who does can't handle themselves. I have a genius level IQ. Firstly, no you don't, or you wouldn't be saying it. Secondly, where did you get this from? Because if it's something on the internet, they say everyone is a genius so you'll brag about it and share it. Thirdly, intelligence is so complicated any single number is virtually meaningless. There are so many metrics for intelligence that you can be high in some and low in others, come out average, and still be an amazing prodigy at one thing. Or brilliant at most things, but not know which foot to put your shoes on. Does anyone think those dictatorship military displays that look like a circus act are a flex? If anyone does think that, I'm here to tell them those aren't the flex they think it is. Being a self-proclaimed arsehole bitch. Calling yourself an alpha. Gucci anything. People who describe themselves as an empath in the first few minutes of meeting them. Most just have a lot of unresolved trauma and talk incessantly about themselves. Going to Dubai. Oh, you work 40 hours a week. I remember my first part-time job. Fuck. You. How many extra hours you've worked. How bad your temper is. Basically all the not like other girls girls. Taking on full-time school, having more kids, and a full-time OT job all at the same time just to complain the entire time then say if I can do it anybody can. Not sleeping enough. I can't believe actual adults at my workplace compare how badly they slept on a given night just to flex their poor sleep schedules. People that post pictures of fanned out dollar 100s on social media. 1. Why do you have $1,000 cash? Put that in an HYSA at least. 2. Are we supposed to be impressed by $1,000? That's almost depressing. Just about everything people tend to brag about. Some professors are absolutely proud of their fail rates. How many times they've been arrested. Having a bunch of kids. Face tattoos. Jacked up 4x4s that never ever see dirt. Rolling coal. Fuck Trudeau stickers. I barely have time for lunch most days. Coming from rural Texas squatted trucks and dipping. Those people who say they've never seen Star Wars or some famous movie franchise like. Okay. Do you want a medal? Calling yourself an alpha male. Farting extra loud in the bathtub. Also wearing sunglasses and a tie in the bathtub. Also pretending rubber ducks have motors and they can swim real f-